Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I'm the Dude and we're about to play Scrap Mechanic. Okay guys, since um, stopping the cooperative game with Bro Even at the moment, this is still the same land, but um, I decided to carry on solo player and do a little bit more work and try and get into this game and try and figure it out because it was just, every week we came on it was just well hard. So, I'll show you my farm. I'm going to show you what I've been up to guys. I think I'm getting there. So, my farm, as you can see, was made out of stone. It's been smushed. Um, but I got a lot of mud. I did clear it, so I didn't lose anything. It's just got to rebuild the walls. I've got loads of water. I don't know why I've got this here, but in the water. Oh, man. Oh, I've moved it. Anyway, I had a... You can get a vacuum pump, and I put that in the water and sucked it all up into the uh, into a chest, and I got tons of water. So now I ain't got to worry about water for a bit. I will rebuild all this at some point, but I want to be able to... Eventually, I'm going to have it so it's automated, so it plants the seeds, waters it, and I'll harvest it myself. That's fine. Um, but I'll show you what kind of vehicles I've got going on. As you can see, my... Uh, my oh, look at all this water here. <laughs> I got some. I'm keeping these because these are, are very uh, floaty. So we might, if we can make a boat, they might be good. And I kept some sheets of metal as well. I tidied this place right up. As you can see, it got a cookbot. Cookbot does pizza burgers, veggie burgers, or revival baguettes. This would have been handy when playing with Bro Even. But these both have different. As you can see, the materials used for them are different. But they do essentially the same thing. They just put your meters all the way to the max, all your meters, which is great. So it's good food to take with you places. Um, I still don't have the dress bot. You can see all the seeds I've got. I've got... Um, oh, we don't even have any blueberry seeds. Ooh. Oh, but we've got tomato seeds galore. My blueberry seeds must be either out there or destroyed or I've lost them somewhere. I don't know. But this is going like the clappers and we've attached this to it. As you can see, we've got plenty of resources coming in now. Uh, because you can see in the background, I've I've managed to make some vehicles which actually work. Uh, I put all my spare bits up on the wall. I've got all my bits and pieces here. Got the vacuum pump there. Um, I figured out you use these clamps to make glue. I need to make a welding tool, but I need more component kits before I can do any of that. So we're going to get to that at some point. No major rush. Uh, but in this one, I've got like all the bits and pieces that we had on the floor. In this one, all the blocks. Got loads of glue, some chemicals, pipe and stuff like that. And all my spare rubbish bits, engines and things like that, which, you know, they're still handy. Anyway, this machine is my little tree chopper. As you can see on the back, I have this gas tank. Now, it's got some old engines on it as well, because I ain't got enough materials to build a good one yet. Um, but in this, you can chuck, fill it up with gas, and then you connect this to the engines, as you can see. And then it'll just run all off the gas in there, so you've got to keep filling up every five seconds. So, um, definitely worth getting those. I'll show you how this one works. Uh, let me just grab one of these. Now, this just about fits in there. <laughs> As you can see, I've linked up four saw blades on the front. I've been playing around with vehicles so much, guys. And um, this is not my finished product. We know, you know, we're going to be perfecting this as we go on. Oh, hang on, let me steal this. I still don't have the spud gun yet. Wait, yeah. Oh, hello, forky. I need the gun so bad. These things are still doing me in. Uh, right, grab that. Lovely jubbly. Okay. As you can see, the blades are really close. Oh my god. Get away. I'm trying to trying to do a scrap mechanic for you. Okay. And if I push one, we've linked this them up so that that'll run. I think I'm using the old engines to power two of each of them. So what we'll do is we'll just run into a tree. Look at that. We decimate. Okay, so the tree falls down. 
And then I can just take my time. I'm going to run it all over. Go on. Get you if I'm lucky. They, they're a bit scared of um, drills and blades. Ah! Remember, keep running backwards. They can't get you. Oh, component kit. I'll chuck this in this. Save me standing there shaving it. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness me. Okay. But anyway, as you can see, we're running over all the stuff. This is, like I say, this is only basic. I've got some better wheels that I could put on this. I should probably start using suspension um, because that really helps with traction on the floor. And I'll, I'll show you about that in a minute. I'm trying to learn the mechanics of this game, guys. And I just, I love learning these little things. Um, where's your leg? Oh. Okay. So we've got to be careful because this take a bit of fuel. Because this is made out of metal as well, it's quite a heavy vehicle. But, you know, sturdy. So as we go, we'll just suck them up because it's close enough to the floor. That resource thing is just going to suck them up. There we go. Obviously, this is just to show you, but I probably wouldn't. I'd get out and smack this one probably if it was proper gathering time. I don't want to be time is money in this, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to turn them off, save a little bit of gasoline. There we go. We have collected the full tree. And look how much that is. That's just. <laughs> Ooh, lovely. And we'll take this back. And you can see my other vehicle in the corner there. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, I'm going to upgrade this. I put the wheels out quite wide because then it doesn't tip so much. I'm quite happy with that little vehicle. It does the job, as you see. All right, there we go. Chuck that in around there. That could, ah, and by the way, attaching this box on here automates it so that when... It sucks it out. It doesn't even go in there anymore. You can actually just leave it. So now I ain't got to worry about taking all the stone out and swapping it when it's time to do the metal. But anyway, talking about stone and metal. Here's my little baby I just built a minute ago. This is for drilling. I had a different thing where all the drills were sort of like this high or lower. But I, I really struggled getting the top rocks and it was a pain. So I built this. And so far, I am chuffed to bits with this. So... As you can see, we have two collectors on the back. It runs quite well. It's on big big wheels. It's got suspension on it as well, guys. So I'll show you. Um, as you can see, I've got suspension going down to there. Then you've got a standard one there. And then there's a um, one of these in between sandwiched in there. So that can be the spinning point of the wheel you get quite good mobility on it although it's quite heavy i've put all the you can change the suspension stiffness if you push e so you can see i've put putting all the limits up which apparently have all gone back down again okay oh what well anyway i'm trying to put them all up to the top so that they're all good and that just helps me keep the traction on the floor a little bit anytime It'll just push the wheel down. Because I kept getting stuck. Well, now it feels all bobbly. Anyway. Oh, man. I've ruined it. Man, it was better before. Hold on. Um, No, it's disappeared. Oh, I'll do that another time. Don't worry. Let's show you what this baby can do. As you can see, I've attached a piston to the front. Or two pistons. So I can extend it when I can't reach. Because every piece of metal seems to be on a freaking hill. Well, that's a pain in the butt. Excuse me. Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to get that one. It's on a horrible hill. And it's just going to eat my gasoline. Because you have to keep driving forward all the time. That really chew through your gasoline. So I cleared a rock. Oh man, this suspension has just been trashed.
Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Hmm? Moo. Right. Let me just figure that. Oh, I'm hungry now. Great. As you can see, I don't carry around the fancy food all the time. Right. Let's have a look at these again. Um, I'll take it down a notch. I think I went way too high. It just felt like a waterbed. There we go. See what that's like. It squashes it straight away. Ah, but I can feel it already. There we go. Right. So, yeah, a minute ago, I was here mining up the rock that was down here. But what, what we'll do is we'll get that one there, if we can. I think this is still needs perfecting. Once I get more pistons, I'm going to do it so you can raise the front up a little bit as well. And all that jazz. Ugh, see how the suspension helps me with this. Okay, so two to turn on my drills. Okay. And we're going to go up into this thing. And push one. Go on. This seems to work pretty... I know there's, there's going to be better ways of doing this, guys. But with the resources I have, this works pretty good. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> as you can see we've got a fuel box on there as well otherwise you do constantly run out um, it's not the drills that take the uh, fuel it is your wheels because I'm constantly pushing forward to go into the rock it is just eating through fuel I'll show you what kind of resources we get from these I've been out I just did um, six full loads um, of those resource boxes so I, I carry two at a time so I did three trips where I was filled to the brim um, on metal and stone and that was the one just down just down the hill a little bit I think it was just down there next to those corns okay it doesn't it does involve me getting out and smacking these things a bit because I don't have any low enough to deal with them plus I don't want to waste the resources How's a forky? Come here, you. I can't even see you. Come on. You won't come near this thing, will you? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so. I'll get out. I smash them up. So I can just drive over them. Same as the other one. You want to get them to the point where they're ready to refine. I'm just going to make little short videos like this, guys. And anything I learn, I'll, I'll chuck it on here. Because it took us so long to really get the gist of this. Even though you guys were fantastic at showing us what to do and telling us about things. We just couldn't get it. And because we're only spending half an hour on it every week or two. It's really hard to get into a flow. Which is why I, I know this game deserves a lot more attention. Because there's so much to it. We could build flying machines if we want. You know, there's... It's just great. I compare this to kind of like um, Minecraft's Valhelsia mod. I don't know if anyone's ever played that, but I like that one. It's like Feed the Beast, Tech It and all that. It's got all the pipe work and all the mechanics, automatic drills. It's just, it's cool to be able to do these things. Okay, so there we go. Uh, let's chuck that in the... And then we'll ride over this lot. Turn those drills back on. Yeah, baby. Let's get rid of these. As you can see, we are already going to be, you know, filling up quite quick once we ride over them. Every now and then, it's probably worth just doing a little ram up. Get over the bits you've done. As you can see, it works quite nicely. 
like I say, it would be nice to get another couple of pistons, I reckon. You could put them in the middle of my little arm bit and raise up the top ones a bit higher. But to be honest, you don't really need it. The only other thing I thought of is putting pistons on the wheels. So if you get to a point where you're struggling, like, going over stuff, you could just raise your stuff up so you come off the ground a bit more. Because as you can see, we're going to get stuck on, on rocks that, that big. Which is, is fine. It's no big deal. And yet again, let's turn them off and get out. Need a handbrake. And then we come out and do this again. Now, I'm going to improve things again. Because at the moment, I've been swimming for all my gasoline. But I, today, I came across something, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, I think it was added in one of the more recent updates. There's an oil patch in like the desert biome. So I'm thinking I could probably pump the oil out of there and save me going swimming for it. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Because the water pump works so well, if we can get an oil pump working exactly the same, that's going to speed things up. Now I don't know if I can automate making gasoline, but even if I can pump it all, all the oil into a chest and just put the chest up, to the uh, craft bar or something. It's gonna, it's gonna be quicker no matter how you look at it. <laughs> All this glorious material. Simple. Like I say, I probably will improve on this again. The more I learn about the game, the, the more resources I have to spare to try things out, the better, really. Because so I can be like, well, the pistons were brand new today. I've, I thought, I need to improve my mining drills. This is just taking too much gasoline. And so I thought I'd try the pistons. I'll raise the drills off the floor a little bit. There we go. As you see, we're pretty full now. Pump that back in, right over these. We'll be full. Yep, we're full. So I'll try and remember these are here. I'll come collect them up in a minute, but I'll show you guys what I mean about the oil. Now you guys probably already know that there's oil in the game like that, but I didn't. All I, all I knew was that you had to go swimming for those little bits, which if you haven't seen it, I will show you that as well while we will swim over to where I need to go. As you can see, this did we kill it? Yeah. I thought I was gonna. I thought I dropped a component kit. Then I was about to go back for it. Looks like the rocks grow back. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm keeping an eye on that patch. Okay. Cool. Look at this. This is fantastic. Finally, I'm unlocking the secrets of scrap mechanic, and it makes me happy. Let's check these in here. Got a couple of vehicles which work. They're not, like I say, they're not the most effective vehicles we're ever going to have, but they work for now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. Awesome. Um, right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll see if we can make uh, something tasty quickly. We make no, we need tomato. That's it. Make me a burger, please. Look at you go. You just try it. Bit of salt out your hat. Lovely. You little legend. Thank you. Okay. I'll chuck these in there. Put my burger on there. Chuck them and them and them in there. And then I'm going to eat that burger in a minute. I'm just going to... Oh, we've got some meat on my main bar. Get rid of that. We've got five component kits on us, which is good. I need to save those up. 
Need more space in there. Oh man. Here we go. Put all my wheels on the wall now. Sounds like something was in it then. Put them in there. Yeah, baby. And then all my drills and bits can just go on here till I use them. I'll just put all my main parts and I've got like my liquids there. And that can just go. I don't want to start on the floor again. No, just keep hold of that. Right, here we go. Okay, guys, I'll show you quickly how to get the oil normally, how I get it at the moment. So you see all these little black dusty bits. I'm going to show you them in a sec. We're going to head towards them. But firstly, I'll show you the clams. You want to be picking these up. Come down here and get these. This is how you make your glue. Okay. So it takes three clamshell bits, whatever they're called, to make one glue. So the more of them you collect, the better. And then these are your oil. Just swim up to them and push E on them. So it's worth popping down underwater every now and then just to get loads of it. I was swimming around for ages getting gasoline earlier today. I'm dehydrated. Okay, so I'm just going to eat this. And you'll see all my stats smashed up full. So we'll be fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head across the water here. You can see the little deserty bit over here. I'm pretty sure this is where I saw the oil. So I want to set up a pump. But I've got to sort the pump out. I'm, I'll look at that off camera at some other point, And then I shall show you the next time I show you some stuff. But it's going to be, these videos won't be every week. They'll just be every now and then when I learn something new. and Or when I learn a few new bits. I'll show you what I've got going on. When I get the gun. Ooh, better watch out you lot. Okay, so here look. I'm pretty sure that's oil. So I need to get a pump in there. That's black. So, yep, yeah, that's going to be my next mission. I'm going to get an oil pump set up over here. And hopefully it will run all the time. If not, maybe we'll move, make a base over here. Because we've got the water. You'll have the oil. And we're not that far if we want to go and use the the workshop I can make the farm down there yeah we'll sort something out all right guys well I'm gonna leave that there it's gonna be a short video here and there um thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed it please do drop a like onto the video if you've got any more tips for me let me know in the comments below and until that next one guys take care the dude is out <laughs>